My question is, um, I'm sort of coming to grips with the whole rotation thing, but when, when I have, for example, three, four, three, one, then two, two four. four, double stop, there's a lot of fatigue and awkwardness in my yeah. arm. And, and okay, um, so the reason, first of all, let's look at why two, four is more complex than one and three, and it's because of the difference in the length of the fingers. Right, I'm dealing with the shortest finger and the longest finger together versus two fingers that are much more similar in height. Okay, so we have to look at how we can open the hand successfully to play bigger intervals, mm. whether we're talking octaves, tenths, or even just chords that are laid out in a certain way that require the hand to open. So the first thing is the hand does not open successfully sideways. Mm -hmm. So if I'm using the abductors and the adductors, this doesn't feel good. If, on the other hand, I open the hand forwards, it'll open quite a long way. So this doesn't feel good. This feels like, it feels like a stretch immediately mm -hmm. if I go sideways. On the other hand, if I walk forwards, I can go a really long way. I can open the hand easily, moving it forwards. So sideways feels rotten, forward is easy. Okay, mm -hmm. the thing to notice is if I, I'm gonna do it with this hand so you can see it more easily. If I walk forwards, we've talked a lot about these fulcrums. If I walk forwards to this finger and make a space between them, what you're gonna notice is that fulcrum adjusts so that I'm over those two spots. Mm -hmm. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. So if I tried to keep that fulcrum the same, I would end up curled. So the first thing to realize, well, two things. We always play forwards to the short finger. That's the rule. So we're gonna play forward in this combination to that fourth finger, okay? And I'm also going to have to play in. We were just talking about in and out uh -huh. because he's a short finger. So I'm gonna play forwards and in to that finger. So the hand opens easily, not opens like that. I don't want to be doing this, but I can do this. I see. Okay? Yeah. So, on your violin, if I'm here, the only way, if you put your hand at the bottom of my elbow, let's move this out of the way, you'll feel that adjustment. This was here, this is here, and forwards. If I don't do that, I get that, okay. mm -hmm. which just feels awful because I have to curl this one and I have to stretch that one. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So I went in and forwards to that short finger. Mm -hmm. And you can see I'm over him. Yeah. Can you see that? Yeah. Rather yeah. than... Adjustment, this fulcrum as well. Yes, and you can see this fulcrum, just like it did on the music set, it's much less obvious. This fulcrum has adjusted very slightly. Actually, I can't even get it in there to put it somewhere else because the violin's in the way. But can you see that fulcrum has moved out slightly? Okay, yeah. so let's try that. Okay. So we play, the rule is we play forward to the short finger. And because you go into the shortest finger, you're gonna have to go in and in, just think towards the ceiling. Let's turn it a little bit more sideways so they can see. So this is okay. for three, one? Is yeah, three? so you do, do one and three so together. Like that. And now think, you're going to think forward. Right, wait a minute. But well, first of all, you're not going to hold down one and three at the same time, because I think then we're going to get in a mess. Mm -hmm. Hold on, I'm going to do it for you. Let's just go to two and four. Play two for a second. Okay, put two down. Good. Can you get one off the string? All right, and I'm going to move you. I want you to go straight up to the ceiling and forwards. Straight. You shouldn't have to go out. Ah, you see, you want to go that way, right? Which doesn't feel so great. Yeah. But you can really, yes. Oh. Different? Completely different, yeah. How does it feel? Well, just sitting there. It's just sitting there. Okay. 